right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code, description. Thanks. All right, man, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV, we in the building. And Usyk uh, is back. Um, using Deontay Water name this week. Um, he being asked about him. So Water called him out. It seemed like he used a water name to promote his fight uh, Saturday versus uh, Chaz Weatherspoon, Wintrust Arena in Chicago. He says that water is the easiest to beat amongst the heavyweight and Fury is the toughest. And also Tony Bell, you second that in another interview saying water is the easiest to beat and AJ and Fury too big for him. Let's talk about it. We back. Good for the sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um at the end of the day, Wilder got the more, more power. I don't think Wilder is the easiest to beat out of the three. It just sounds like to me that Eddie Hearn is 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 now using Usyk um to try to go at the Wilder. Because he know AJ ain't got a shot. Alright. And for Tony Bell, let me start off here to say to put Anthony Joshua even in this in this in this situation, Joshua don't even fight Wilder fight bigger than Joshua do. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you didn't look at the if you didn't look at the weight, anybody would tell you Wilder's a stronger fighter than Joshua. Joshua is, is the weakest link. You know what I'm saying? He's the weakest link. And um and at the end of the day, I just felt that. You, Joshua was the easiest. I said that before Usyk officially got to this got to this uh this weight class. I said that Usyk would beat Joshua. I, I liked I liked I liked them odds because Joshua can't handle the his uh his movement, his fluidity, and Joshua gassed out. And if Usyk able to carry that stamina, I felt Usyk would have outpointed Joshua with ease. Joshua is weak. You know what I'm saying? He is physically the weakest heavyweight that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? To be 250, all that muscle, he weak. Now, to get back to saying on uh, Usyk and Bellew, saying Wilder is the easiest, at the end of the day, I, I don't believe that. Because then you got to add Andy Ruiz in there too. And I believe Ruiz and Usyk is a much closer fight. I believe it's a much closer fight than uh, Wilder and Usyk. I believe Wilder would stretch Usyk. And people say, oh, he might, he can outbox him. At the end of the day, Wilder is physically stronger than Anthony Joshua. And if he comes in 225, 230, he probably physically stronger than Tyson Fury as well. And you got to remember he had a cold or something going into the Fury fight. That weight shit don't mean nothing. Ty Mike Tyson was 220. Joe Frazier was 220. The, uh, uh, a foreman, the young foreman was what, 220, 225. And they stronger than Fury and they stronger than, than, than Josh. So weight don't mean nothing. Just because you weigh a lot, it don't make you strong. And I'm not speaking pound for pound. I'm talking just like strength. And, and what I'm telling you is Wilder is stronger than Fury. If he if he ain't sick and he put and he come in at 220, 225, 230, he's stronger and more physically powerful. But at this point, it, this just I wouldn't say it's cloud chasing, but he got to see Wilder now. You know, fuck that WBO shit. You know what I'm saying? He got to see him because before coming to the division, he was just talking about Anthony Joshua. Now we know Tony Bellew ain't shit, but a but a cocksucker. We know that. <laughs> We know that about Coney Bell. You, he met. He talked all that stuff about fighting Wilder. Met him. Oh, he's so big. His arm wrapped around me. His hand engulfed my hand, and I don't want to fight him. I see why you don't want to fight him. You talking to say, you know? Come on. We know he got an agenda push. He team AJ. You know AJ is the easiest, weakest link heavyweight. He don't have no stamina. He don't have no jaw. He don't have a heart. He not a warrior. At the end of the day. About Fury being the toughest matchup for Usyk, I understand it. I understand Fury being a tough matchup. 
The reason I understand is because his height, his reach, his range, he's one of the few guys that with his fluid movement could really offer, you know, Usyk a ton of trouble on how Usyk would attack him. See, versus Joe Joyce in the World Series of Boxing, Usyk was able to use his in-and-out movement to touch Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce was just too slow. You know what I'm saying? But with Fury, Fury is a lot faster and he control his distance and reach a little, a lot better than Joe Joyce. So it'd be tougher for Usyk to, to really find a mark on Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? And Fury said that he could beat Usyk one hand behind him, his bar back. And Usyk said, you know, one day he said I'm good. The other day he uh, saying I'm not so good. He need to make his mind up. But I'm gonna leave the interview from behind the gloves in the description. But uh, on the source link. But at the end of the day. He got to see Wilder now, regardless. He got to see him now. And I already know what's going to happen. Don't get stretched. <laughs> you know, I give him a chance to win the fight, as do I give every heavyweight, because there's not a mark, there's not a large margin of error. But one thing about it is, he ain't faster than Deontay Wilder. He may be faster than Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? Hands and feet. But one thing we do know, Wilder ain't the greatest foot mover. He ain't going to be in over. No ballet, or he ain't gonna be in the greatest fluid movers of boxing history. You know what I'm saying? He won't be in that group. But one thing about him, he fast. You know, and he explosive. And like a lot of people saying in the comment section the other day, he get hit too much. Usyk, Usyk ain't no defensive wizard. And I've been saying it about Lomachenko as well too. In the amateur style they fight, they get touched up too much. And at heavyweight, Usyk can't make the can't make mistakes because he make a mistake versus Wilder, he going to sleep. He make a mistake versus Andy Ruiz, he might be going to the hospital as well. You know what I'm saying? Because versus Breedis, he was getting touched up a lot, bro. Gasvier was just too slow, foot movement too slow, and all that. So, you know, at the end of the day, Wilder did call him out. Said he not worried about him. He usually had to defend himself as a man. But at the end of the day, you saying he easy. You fighting Chaz Weatherspoon. No easy opponent. You fighting Chaz Weatherspoon. And it looked like he trying to use Wilder name to build to build cloud up for his for, for his fight coming up. But don't nobody care about Usyk. Don't nobody but hardcore boxing fans care about Usyk. The casual public don't care he is. Nobody gonna tune in and watch that shit on his own. You know, he should have fought Joey Javaco or whatever the dude is and knocked down Anthony Joshua. He tried to fight uh, 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 old boy that fought Joseph Parker and that fought uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. I can't remember his name right now. Uh, but he tried to fight him, but he signed to a new, another promotional company. Now he got a co-promotional deal with Top Rank. But if he if Water the easiest guy, well, she, you should you should fight him. You know, I don't want to hear no excuses, but... This Eddie Hearn doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? When when Usyk, he ain't got nothing. If AJ lose, which I think a lot of, the, I think Eddie Hearn believe AJ gonna lose. If AJ you lose, he ain't got nothing to lose with Usyk. Usyk ain't the A side, the B side, the C side, the D side. He the Z side versus Anthony Deontay Wilder. He the Z side versus any top heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? He 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 has no popularity, no pulling power. No nothing. He's the Z side. Only pulling power he got is he the WBO super champion. He'll be the mandatory. But keep that same energy. Keep that same energy when it's time to fight Wilder. If you do, you know, get your hand on them belts. Or you've been talking all that shit. I want to see it. Oh, he's an outbox him and he going to do this. Okay. He got to be perfect for 12 rounds. It ain't like just like a wilder like George Foreman out there. And when he came back old and slow, like nigga fast. And like people just, the narrative is that he don't do nothing good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you just got power. Bullshit. You don't get this far in the game. Just don't have him power. Wilder be setting niggas up. Wilder be walking the motherfuckers into, into shots. He got a good left hook. He got a good right hand. I mean, got a good jab, got a great right hand. You know what I'm saying? He got, and he got a lot of explosiveness. And again, he got height and he got reach. You know, versus Tyson Fury, 
You know, he he made he was just fighting stupid. I'd be the first to admit it. But at the end of the day, that was his first big, big fight. You know, a lot of people believe Fury got knocked out. But it is what it is. But what you said, it's his prerogative. He's supposed to do that. But hey, don't write it. Don't write a check. Your ass can't cash. You know, but for, for Wilder, what does Usyk really represent? Nothing. He be Usyk, he get no credit. You know what I'm saying? That's just a fact. He'd have beat Joshua, they would have discredited him. But he be Usyk, what does it mean? You be the cruiserweight. Oh, he was too small. Oh, he wasn't that good. <laughs> what did he ever did in his career? So, you know how they go, but we'll see, man. Whatever Wilder do, they discredit him, but everybody know how that storybook ends. It's going to end with Yusik sleep. They going to ship his ass back to Ukraine or wherever the fuck he's from. And um, it is what it is. But I appreciate the love support. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Happy Friday, everybody out there. Other than that, man, subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow1Box. j 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion soaps, foot soaps. Bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair part made, and much, much more. Website, promo code description. Share the videos. Love and support. We got them.